What is going on everybody? Noah back here with another YouTube video here today. We got some more rules of survival on the channel. This time around we are doing something different on the channel. We are doing our first ever commentary over gameplay and this one's actually going to be the Q&A that I talked about last week that I was going to do. Finally getting around to doing it now over some ROS gameplay. I came back yesterday. We are smashing some noobs faces in. And then we ended up getting banned for another 24 hours. So uh, I figured we'd go ahead and do this little cut commentary for you guys. So sit back, enjoy the Q&A, and maybe your question's in the video. So first question comes in from Sam Castillo, and they ask M14 EBR or AN94? And the AN94 holds a special place in my heart just because it was my favorite gun back in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for all you COD fans. I loved using that gun, and I just love the AK-47, like any variant of the AK, I absolutely love using. Just, I don't know what it is, but the AK is like my favorite gun. But in this game, in this particular situation, you're asking the EBR versus the AN94, probably which one's better, what I would pick up in game. And if I was going super try hard mode, dude, the M14 EBR 100% would be my choice. It's an absolute laser. Like you can literally just spray it with such little kick and you can be so accurate and just deal so much damage so quickly. So with that, I'm gonna go with EBR all the way. Next one's from Sergeant Lightning and they ask, will you play some horror games sometime? And this is something that I've actually been wanting to get into on the channel, but I just never pulled the trigger on, and that is doing horror game walkthroughs. I used to love watching those back before I was doing YouTube myself, back before I had the ability to basically play whatever game I wanted. And one in particular that I was watching was Outlast, and I absolutely loved that game watching that walkthrough, and I enjoyed watching the YouTube videos every week when they would drop on the person's walkthrough through that I was watching so personally I would love to do Outlast 2 on the channel just because I haven't watched any videos on that and I haven't played the game myself I know it's been out for about a year now but I would definitely get into that game if you guys would enjoy to watch that walkthrough so hey just let me know in the comments section below and we'll pull the trigger on that finally and we'll make sure it happens Gabriel Martinez asked what game got you into video games and I absolutely love this question because we have a couple different answers for it so back when I was younger and I was playing on the PlayStation 2 I didn't have Wi-Fi and I didn't have the capability of playing online games but I absolutely loved playing Star Wars Battlefront just because I felt like I was playing an online shooter game and that made me feel so good it seemed so much fun like playing a multiplayer game even though it was just me versus bots and I would just sit there for hours playing like team deathmatch or domination I don't even remember what it was called on that game but we would just go off and I was just absolutely slaying out all the bots and I was like you know kill on everyone and playing for my uh, kill streak and that's what got me into wanting to play multiplayer games and then one year for Christmas my brother actually bought me a PlayStation 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and that was my first ever multiplayer online shooter game that's what got me into shooters and that's what made me the crazy multiplayer kid that I am today like the one that just loves to grind and I just want to be better than everyone else because I absolutely played that game every day after school and just kept trying to get better and better at the game until I was constantly dropping moabs and just being that kill streak guy and that's what really turned me into the multiplayer gamer that I am today and finally, Hot and Cold asks, what's your most embarrassing moment of your life? And for this, we're gonna take it all the way back to my freshman year of high school, and I was sitting in the cafeteria. So at my school, for whatever reason, they would hand you out plastic bags of milk for your drink. Not like an actual carton that you just open up and sip out of. No, they'd hand you plastic bags of milk. And they would also give you a straw to like pierce the milk with and then just poke it and drink out of the straw. But if you did that, you were just classified as a weirdo at the school because everyone would bite off one of the corners and then just kind of like squeeze the bag and squirt it into your mouth. I know this is weird. I don't know why this was a thing at my school. I honestly don't. But one day I bit the corner off like you normally do and I squeezed the bag. But I guess I didn't actually bite the corner off deep enough because what happened was I squeezed the bag so hard that the entire bag popped and it made the loudest like sound I would ever heard. Like I don't know how that tiny bag made a sound so loud, but it popped. The milk like exploded out of the bag, got all over my face. Like my hair was literally dripping, exploded on the kid next to me, exploded on the entire lunch table that I was sitting at and the entire cafeteria went absolutely silent and everyone just looked at us 
and I'm just sitting there with my hair dripping of chocolate milk like I have no idea what to do here because like I said I was literally drenched and dripping in chocolate milk and I had to get up I was sitting at the front of the cafeteria and the doors were in the back I had to sit up and walk across the entire cafeteria with everyone staring at me through the back doors and I ended up going to the gym locker room and I took a quick shower put on uh, my gym clothes and I had to wear that for the rest of the day at least I was clean though but that would probably be my most embarrassing moment of my life <laughs>